Hi, welcome to Making All the Plants. I'm Connie, and if we haven't met before, I'm a busy mom of two active kids, and both my husband and I have full-time careers. My goal is to share with you how I stay on top of all life throws at me in one planner so that you might be able to do the same. I know it's a few days late, but I'm going to work on my April goals and reset. We got back from spring break late on April 1st, so I am just now getting to this. So let's just flip to the goals section and look at March real quick. I did start building my morning routine. I did continue my evening routine. I definitely listened to or read one book. Um, I did work on my photo maintenance, but I did not get to this photo book and we did go on the spring break trip. I have been doing some spiritual, although I am behind on my Bible in a year podcast. For health and wellness, I did meal planning, and then I did try out an exercise class, and I did end up purchasing the app Ladder, and I don't really have a recommendation for it yet because I only used it for, I think, four classes so far, and then we went on spring break, so I'm going to dive back into that this week. And I have been getting outside on nice days, and since we were in Florida, it was very easy to do that. Since we've been back, it's been somewhat rocky weather here in Ohio, but hopefully the days get nicer the further we get into spring. I have been doing birthday messages, but not so much these random messages. For financial, I didn't do any of this. I think I listened to the Susie Orman podcast one time. For household, we have been keeping up on our weekly home blessing. Thankfully, my husband has been helping with that. I did get part of the basement cleaned, but it is taking a little longer in each section because it, I guess it doesn't take longer. It's just I have less time than I was hoping to have. So I do have a little bit cleaned up and I've already made one trip to donation, but I need to continue on that. I'm not sure if I will continue that in April though. Decluttering, yes, that's ongoing. Implement recurring home maintenance. That is back here in my home section. We did change the clocks, check the smoke detectors, and change the furnace filter. The rest of these things, it's not quite warm enough to do. And as much as I would like to go back and do these winter items, I did do the clothing declutter, but I did not get these other things done. So hopefully I will at least get the oven clean, but I'm not going to stress out about going back and picking up the things that I missed. I'm going to start here and work my way through. So I feel good about the home maintenance list. For professional, I did listen to Dark Neck Diaries, but again, I was on spring break for a week. So anything that came out during that week, I didn't do, and I'm not going to stress out about going back and making anything up. I haven't found an additional podcast. I'm not sure if I'm going to, actually. I feel like I have a lot to listen to in the car, and I'm trying to not go into the office as much, but we'll see how that goes. We didn't get the OCTA integration done and they canceled my certification exam again. So I need to reschedule that. For passion, I have been working through my master class. I also did the HB90 class, which has been amazing so far. I'm excited to implement what I learned. I have not done Insta posts. I did one yesterday and boy, do I need to get better, but how do you get better without doing it, right? And then two YouTube videos a week. I think there was one week where I didn't have two, but overall it averaged out to two. So I feel okay about that. I have been liking matching the theme of my monthly to my goals. So I am going to do that again. Even though I've used these stickers for a monthly and a weekly, I do feel like there's plenty left to do my goal sheet. So I have these stickers left and some boxes as well. And then I have just a black blank piece of dot grid, which now I've noticed I hole punched on the incorrect side, but we'll just put something decorative down this side. I have my washi tape from before, as well as two dot pins. I'm not sure if I wanna do green or brown. I have my friction um, 0.5 erasable clicker. I have my Muji 0.58, sorry, I have my Muji 0.38, and then I have my two Kelly Creates fine liner pens in 05 and 08. 05 is really my go-to, but I thought maybe for 
the month and the year I might do the 08. And off to the side, I have my Loistrum that I have been taking all of my HB90 notes in, as well as making plans for the future. I will be referencing the three goals for the quarter. My first goal is around making all the plans, and then I've broken down some projects for that. My second goal is around my personal and mostly health related items, and I've broken down some projects for that. And my third goal is around my home. And I feel like each quarter there will be these three bigger goals. Since I have a full-time job, I don't have a lot of time outside of my working hours to work on my goals. So I think I'm going to continue to use this notebook each quarter to brainstorm different goals and to just keep track of how far I've gotten through this HB90 system. The thing I like the most about the HB90 system is it helps you time block and be realistic about what you can achieve each quarter. So even though I have a ton of things I'd like to do around the house and bigger projects, I picked one to focus on. So my goal is that everything will be in place for Ben to be a successful driver, including having a car and a designated parking space. And although some of these sound more like tasks than projects, after pushing him through his online course, it really is a project. Um, so I've scheduled in cars for Ben already, but he needs to do his in cars and I'm taking that as a project because it's an hour to where he does the in car. He drives for two hours and then it's an hour home. So that's four hours that I have to block off. I can do work during those times, but that's why I'm considering it a project and not just a task. Then he has his driver's test. We need to find a new vehicle. We need to get car insurance. We'd like to do a bump out on our driveway if possible. So all of those things are the projects for this one bigger goal. And I didn't include a lot of other home goals because I don't think I'm going to have time for it. And my goal is not just for this quarter, but hopefully by June 1st to have this all worked out because I know that my time becomes even more limited in June. So being able to look at those task blocks and when I'm available to do the different projects and tasks has been eye-opening for me. And I didn't do this for my personal or my home task, but for my making all the plans tasks, each task got a post-it note and got put in my Kanban board in this little notebook. So let's go ahead and get started with our goals for the month. I will preface this with saying I'm not sure these are actually goals after taking the HB90 course, but they are things that I want to accomplish this month. So I'm going to start by filling in that blank space since I punched the holes on the wrong side of the paper. I'm just going to use a little bit of washi tape and run it down the side so that it doesn't look like I made a mistake. It looks intentional. And I'm a little shaky today. Not sure what that's about, but we have been running like crazy since we got home. So this is the 08. I think I'm going to write the month and the year in 08. So the kids and I went on spring break. My husband picked us up from the airport when we got back. And then we promptly got a flat tire on the way home. So it's been an adventure. Never a dull moment. And I kind of like to have my sections not in a straight line and not organized, which is very not me, but I really like the look and feel of this. So I'm going to continue to do it like this. So I'm just going to go ahead and put these six stickers down and write the headers for the goal sections. And I'm probably just going to speed through this a little bit because I do write slow.
and I'm going to use the 05 for writing in the titles. Okay, I am going to use my friction erasable pen to write in my goals. Or if I had mentioned before, these aren't necessarily goals, but more bigger tasks or projects, but still things that I want to make sure that I get done in the month of April. But first I'm going to start with my big HB90 goals and projects, and then I will break down those other tasks that I wanted to accomplish in 2024 and kind of figure out which of those I'm going to do this month. So here for making all the plans, I want to do two to three YouTube videos a week. I want to work through my masterclass. I don't think that I will finish it this month, but I definitely will finish it this quarter. I want to give my Instagram a makeover. So Insta makeover and consistent Insta posts. And I also forgot that I wanted to do my dot pen here. And I think I'm going to go with the green. Maybe I'll alternate, but I didn't have these lighter colors, so that's why I went with the brown and the green. I might alternate, mm, I'm not sure. I probably should have used the brown with this color. That's okay. I'd like to get up to three times per week on Instagram, but for now, I think I'm going to work on one a week and then work up from there. So hopefully by the end of the quarter, I'll be up to three times per week. So let's say one post per week. Then I'm going to jump up to health and wellness. And I think I would use the green, even if I'm alternating. So let's start with strength training. three to five days per week. And then I want to start running and I'm gonna say two to four days a week. Then I want to close my rings and I'm gonna say five times per week. Again, I'm trying not to kill myself out of the gate. I'm trying to build up. So eventually I'd like to close my rings every day. And that's for my Apple Watch. If you don't have an Apple Watch, you may not know what that means. And then really the other big goal that I have is for household. And I think I'll switch to brown. I think I'll do brown for the blue and the green. Sure. So for household, Ben doesn't actually take his driver's test until May 1st or 2nd, but I'm going to put Ben prep for driving test. And then car for my husband. insurance and and driveway extension
And I'm not sure if these will actually be done, but this is definitely what I want to be working towards. And then I also want to do weekly home blessing and basement declutter. Because next month's goals, I think, are going to revolve around the basement. If I can get some of that done prior to, that would be great. And then, of course, just the routine maintenance. This is the time of year where we'll have to get the garden ready and all of those things. So that's a lot, although a lot of it is also part of May. So the prep for driving, that all happened this month. He'll take his test in May. The car and the insurance, those will probably happen in May, but I can at least make phone calls and stuff for insurance. Driveway extension, I'm hoping to get calls done this month. And then weekly home blessing, of course, is every week cleaning the house. Basement declutter, I'm hoping there is time for that. And then routine home maintenance, a lot of that isn't until May because it's too cold here to start planting the garden and stuff. So this looks a little daunting, but it really isn't. Okay, let's fill in the rest. The other thing I wanted for health and wellness is to cut out soda. And I have stopped drinking regular soda. I switched to Dr. Pepper Zero and I don't love it. So I feel like it's going to be easier to cut out soda. I have cut back, but I'd like to completely cut it out. So let's jump over to financial. Financial is pretty easy <laughs> for what I need to do this month. I really just need to finish the taxes. I do want to plan out our IRA for this year, as well as read the book Smart Couples Finish Rich. And I really wanted to read that this month but I'm trying not to beat myself up about it. I didn't have it read before I went on vacation and that's not really a book you want to read on vacation. I wanted to completely disconnect and relax and I actually did that for the first time probably in my adult life. Okay, personal. I am going to write something on my list that I've already done but I want to continue to do. So my AM and PM routines. And one of the reasons why I'm writing this on the list again is because since I've been on vacation for a week, I haven't necessarily been doing them completely. So I just want to get them ingrained in my day. And then this finish, what is it called? Midnight Library. I started this on vacation and didn't quite finish it before we got home. So I finished it last night. So that would be April 2nd. So I've already gotten this completed, but I am going to write it down. And that's by Matt Haig. But I'm famous for starting books on vacation and then coming home and not finishing it. So I am glad that I just buckled down and got that done. And then I do want to listen to at least one audiobook. So that would be three books for April, Finished Midnight Library, one audiobook, and then the Smart Couples Finish Rich. And this month I want to finish photo maintenance. For 2023. I'm so close. And then I want to get the 2023 photo book done for Mother's Day for my mom. If I get it ordered by the end of the month, then I will definitely have it in my hands before Mother's Day. I just order from Snapfish normally, and I put these a little bit close together, but I'll just bump my dots over a little bit. And spiritual, same thing as before, daily prayer. Verse in a verse a day. And Bible in a year. 
podcast. And the Bible in a Year podcast is actually harder this year than it was last year. So I am just struggling finding the time to listen to it. I feel like there's always somebody in the car or if there isn't someone in the car, I'm on the phone, hands-free of course, but I just don't feel like I have as much time to listen. I do want to put the Susie Orman podcast back here. Darknet Diaries. And then I need to reschedule my certification exam again. And I'm not sure I'm going to put any other goals here or projects because since I have been out for a week, I'm not exactly sure what my focus is going to be. I guess I could put branding. We have to do a rebranding at work. So let's do branding. And I'm afraid to put Okta because we're kind of up in the air. So I'm just going to put branding. So for friends and family, I need to start vacation planning for summer. Again, my son is only available the month of June. So we need to figure out what our focus is for the summer and what he wants to do. If there are things that my daughter or my husband want to do, but my son doesn't want to do, he's old enough to stay at home or he can stay with a friend. So, and then birthday messages, of course. And a random message a week. And I really enjoyed doing this, so I would like to get back to it. But those are the big things. Green. Okay, let's throw some decor on here. And these are just sitting here extra. Not sure about the dress. Though it does fit over here. These ones are my favorite, these square ones. And the girls. So. out. Let's do this one. And I think the only place this one will fit would be here. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And then I have to grab some scissors because that's too tall but I'd like to have her coming out of this. And then the girl in the ocean or the water can go down here. And then let's cut, let's see if this is going to be short enough. And then I have this beach ball I could use. Or could I cut this down? I probably won't save the rest of these stickers now that I've used them three times. Not that I won't use them again, just that I probably won't save what I have. But maybe this will fit right in here. 
let's cut off a little bit of this grass here. here and let's see I'm leaning towards the beach ball although I do like the surfboards do I need to cut that down just a little bit I feel like I do And I don't have the patience to do like a zigzaggedy edge there. So I'm going to try to just cut that and layer it a little bit. And then do the same thing up here and along the side. And if I ruin the sticker, it's no big deal. I have other ones I can use. I just shrink that down a little bit. You can hardly tell. There we go. And then I want something down here. about just the beach ball. Maybe we'll tuck a little washi tape underneath it. And sorry if you can hear my husband laughing downstairs. that over here like it a lot. I do wish I could fit this little house in here somewhere, but I'm thinking that it's not going to happen. Let's just see if I cut it down, if it would fit. What's the harm in trying, right? So what do I need to cut down? I need to cut down the take down the sad palm tree. Sad because it got cut off, not because it looked sad to begin with. And I'm okay with hole punching those. Can I fit the palm tree? And clouds. No, nope, I'm not loving the clouds. Let's trim this. Oh, touch. And 
the punch. Okay. I think that's it. I don't think I want to put this up here, but put a, like a milkshake next to health and wellness. Put it up here. Okay. There are my goals. Okay, let's put this in our goals section. And again, I like how it matches my April monthly and it's cohesive. Everything I have already pretty much cleared out. This is this week. Let's just look at the trackers. February, let's see, March 1st, my weight was 198.8, but I'm finally going in the right direction, 195.2. And I really see a difference when I'm closing my rings with my weight. So that's one of the reasons why I'm trying to close my rings more. So the fourth, the ninth, and I'm not necessarily trying to wait to fill these in. I just don't get around to it. The 15th, the 26th, the 27th, the 30th, and the 31st, the 28th and 29th. I'm pretty sure I closed everything except for my exercise ring. So I had more than enough calories burnt, but I'm just going to go with rings closed for this tracker. And then I'll go ahead and fill in April 1st. It is the third and I don't expect to fill it in again today. I'm trying to catch up on my sleep after our flat tire and late night on the 1st and then work, of course. So yeah, I don't expect to close this again until the 4th, but I still think that this looks good. This is sad. January looked sad, but okay. So I feel like things are getting better. And now that I have a workout that workout app that I like, I feel like I'm on the right path. So for Bible in a Year, again, I think I should be around day 90, but I'm only at day 72. So we'll go through 71. But I'm okay with this. I do like to cross things off <laughs> and be on top of things, but if something has to give, listening to audiobooks and podcasts, that is going to be one of the first things that comes off the list. Um, I did not do my measurements again, but I'm hoping to get those either tonight or tomorrow. Since it is the beginning of the quarter, I would at least like to do this quarterly, but we'll try to get that done tonight. I also have some clothes to try on, so maybe I can do that at the same time. Those are my birthdays. And then I want to write down the books that I read. So I listened to On Being Human. On Being Human. And that was an interesting book by Jennifer Pasteloff. I think I'm going to stop writing the author names. I do also have this in Notion. I just think it's cool to have it visually as well. And then I read Rules for Commuting, Iona Iverson's Rules for Commuting. And that was by Claire Pooley. And I really liked that. It was a very light read. Do rules for commuting. 
and it was one of those books where each character got their own chapters. So as you went throughout the book, you got it from different characters' perspectives. So I liked that book. And then I read The Personal Librarian. And it's a novel about J.P. Morgan's personal librarian. Her name was Bella DeCosta Green. And she was a Black woman who was forced to hide her true identity. And it was very interesting. And now I want to dig deeper into her personal life. Okay. And I can check this one off. The Personal Librarian. Okay, personal development. There's nothing in there. Making all the plans. I did go ahead and write down my numbers for that. Probably need to also add it back here. Oh, apparently I need to move all of them back here. So I'll take the time to do that later. Oh, I forgot about this page. I also keep this in Notion. So this may be overkill. Maybe I'll take it out. Um, finance. I do still need to pay the rest of my bills. I paid the ones that were due early in the month. Reference bin, Kenzie Travel. We don't, I don't have anything for travel right now. So I think that's it for tracking for this month. But I definitely like these stickers. I will link them down below. Again, these aren't necessarily made for planners. They were in need of some resizing and each of the images comes individual. And then I made the boxes myself, so the boxes don't come with it. I also made the quotes myself. So next is May. Can't believe we are already in the second quarter of the year. I hope that everybody is being productive and getting the things done that they want to get done. But thanks for joining me today. If you like this video, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. I hope everybody has a great April and I will see you in my next video. Bye.